everyone. Welcome back to My Lady Disdain. I'm Sandy. And I'm John. We have a special one for you today. We got to actually get out of the house for an entire day <laughs> yesterday. It wasn't scary, I swear. <laughs> uh, it's a holiday weekend here in the United States, and um, we had a friend who was willing to come watch our dogs, and we got the chance to go down to Gaithersburg, Maryland, which is about a four-hour drive for us with without yep. stops. Yep. Um, and we got the chance to go to Fabric Friends and Dolls. Her name is Iris. Uh, she is the only retailer in the United States that can sell smart doll. Uh, we've mentioned her in our previous videos. She's one of those, she's a place that does layaway, so when you can't pay for the doll all at once, you can actually do layaway through her. I think she is a pretty big reason why a lot of people have smart doll at this point. Yeah. Yeah, so why don't uh, we take a look at uh, some of the footage we took on the trip and uh, you know what their story is like, uh, and then when we come back, we can show you what we actually bought, which I'm, I again, very unexpected, but I'm really excited about. Yeah, me too. I, it was not something I expected to do, but... Um... We, we hope you really enjoy it. And if uh, you want to see more content like this, more Smart Doll content, more unboxings, uh, we're also doing other videos um, like we've got on our Before You Buy video. If you want to see more content like that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> So we are on the road and heading towards Fabric Friends and Dolls. John, what are you looking forward to when we get to see Fabric Friends and Dolls? Seeing like other smart dolls in person. The experience always changes when you actually get to see them. Yeah, and we're actually hoping that maybe there'll be something we can do for a little sister for the girls too. Yeah. I heard sausage and cheese biscuits, that's me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I did look and see um, what is out of stock at Culture Japan and she might have, because that would be worth doing as terms of, in terms of apparel, etc. Oh, right. All right. It was a long trip, but we made it. Um, we are here at Fabric Friends and Dolls, the U.S. home of Smart Doll and various other uh, BJDs, etc. We're really anxious to go inside and see what they have. It was a beautiful drive. It's really out in the middle of a bunch of lovely countryside in Maryland. Uh, it's not what you would expect, but it is in this little strip plaza here. You just kind of come upon this plaza after passing beautiful, beautiful farmhouses. It's in an old historic area. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go inside. We made an appointment. Uh, because she is actually not fully open. She's doing mostly online sales and taking appointments. And Iris was delightful. She and her husband, Joe, were there. Joe was, was fun. He was, he kept talking about the fact that he was watching Gunsmoke on TV while we were shopping. But he's sneaky. He is an enabler. <laughs> He, he wanted us to look at everything. He was like, bring your dolls in, try some stuff on. Uh, here's make Iris open that box. Yeah, make Iris open that box over there that hasn't gone up on the website yet. And uh, so he was very much interested in, sh in, in looking at everything and watching us enjoy everything. And he made the experience a lot of fun. Uh, we got there kind of late, but we did have enough time do a little bit of damage to the wallet that we yep. yeah, that we did not really intend to do. I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know how and was hoping we might avoid actually purchasing a full doll. <laughs> and actually, um, I got a little overly excited with the thrill of the hunt and finding things. And, and I was actually like texting and sold some stuff to someone else <laughs> for Iris. So uh, someone else is getting a, a care package sent to them with some exciting things in it. And, but we won't talk about that. We'll let them do it. Um, 
but uh, it was really fun. I was very excited. I was getting all amped up over finding these things and, and getting them out there. <laughs> So that was a really fun and interesting trip after being close to home for 18 months. It's, it's been it's been a year. Yeah. And I mean, so, not like an actual year. It's, just, it's been a year. But we did come home with some booty. A big old bag. And I think you might see a box in there. And some other... And a lot things. of other things. So we actually waited. This is the day after, and we waited to open this stuff. We were also exhausted. It was a long, long drive. <laughs> but... yeah. So I'm assuming we're doing the box first, right? Or do we want to do the non-box related other things? The No, let's do the box first. Okay. Let's, let's introduce everybody to who we've got, who does not have a name yet. Okay, there's, there's actually a name on that side, so... Shall we open it? Yeah. I'm ready. Yes. That uh, tape should just lift right up, right? Yes, we did have Iris open this while we were there. Because it was very new for us, so. Yeah, we haven't seen it before, and you know, it's like when you have the opportunity to just see the doll in person, it's so much nicer. Oh yeah, like you're, you're very much surprised by things. And I think on the other stuff that we bought, we spent more because we actually got to see it and have it in our hand. Yep. And some of it is stuff that is sold out on the Culture Japan site, on the Smart Doll site, so we grabbed it. Now pull the box away. And the usual keep calm and carry a Smart Doll bag. The box in the box. And we'll get back to that. And you'll probably notice we've got some red undies here. It's a boy! We were able to get our hands on Gemini, which was very, very exciting. Um, we weren't sure, like, we, we've, we're a big fan of the girls, and we were not positive that a boy was even in our future at all, but uh, we saw him, and Danny is, is uh, at this time redesigning the smart doll uh, male body. I think so, plus... Maybe the heads too, I'm not sure. Maybe the heads as well, we're I not mean, positive. Especially considering all of the redesign of the semi-real heads that are happening right now, I would imagine that we're going to get some alteration of the sculpts for the uh, for the boys. Either to follow suit or maybe something completely different. And um, I gotta say, he is actually, I was never quite sure about Gemini. I'm, I'm a fan of a couple of the others, the older dolls, but um, and I was never sure about Gemini, but I like him. I flat out did not like most of the boys at all. Yeah. Um, the, again, the pictures don't do them very much justice. Um, and I think I didn't look at them much past when we were first investigating, you know, smart doll. And I didn't particularly like semi-real dolls in general. I think that's changed a lot. Um, I clearly like semi-real a lot more now than I ever used to. Mm-hmm. Um, and seeing Gemini in person, um, it, yeah, it got me. Yeah. He's, he's pretty cool. And he, he, I like his little smart doll trunks. Little boxer briefs. So we had an interesting trunks. discussion about the feet too. We should probably, uh. Well, let's, I mean, yeah, let's, let's look at the body. You know, your shoulders are much bigger, much wider chest. But he's got good detailing, like the musculature, the bones of his back, his shoulder blades, everything like that. He's got a little bit of ab detailing there. And now the thighs and like the thigh muscles and like going into the knees are very different than the girls. And you've got your calves. So the, I mean, the, the muscles in general are, are really, really quite nice. Um, these are, though, as we came to understand, the newer feet. I guess the original feet, um... Were larger, right? Yeah, Iris has an AG, yeah. uh, uh, you know, on display in the store. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, the feet were definitely much bigger and fit, like, I think, SD-sized shoes. Yeah. Um, whereas 
these look like they pretty much fit um, MSD boy size shoes. Like, so it's kind of like, I think like a half a centimeter longer than your typical smart doll. Yeah, it looks like he might even be able to fit his feet into some of the shoes that we have for the girls. Probably. There's, I think there's a fair amount of room in a lot of those anyway. Yeah. Um, I don't know how well he would do like with the Culture Japan shoes. Yeah, we'll have to try. We have the brown uh, lace boots, so we maybe would try those on him or something. But uh, he's pretty cool, and um, maybe I should... Do we want to take out his wig? Absolutely. Let's get so it on here. we were in discussion over this before we opened the box. I guess he does have blue eyes. Or are they green? No, they're blue. Yeah, he has, he has very blue eyes. He's actually... I want to say those are dauntless eyes. They, ver they might be. So we may have a double set now, because uh, Vignette does not use the Dauntless Eyes. So in this box, there wasn't anything extra. He just comes in his underwear with the, uh, with the stand and the little Mirai store yep. card. All your typical stuff. And we have his wig. Now he so has... Another short wig that we can... Don't know if he'll end up staying with this or not. Now, this wig actually is labeled Gemini, so he must have his own wig. I thought maybe he wore the, the Genesis wig, but he doesn't. He actually has his own wig, because ah. otherwise it wouldn't say that on there, I don't think. No, they label it like a generic... Do you want to take the head off? I was just going to hand this to you. Okay, well, then I will take the head off. We, had, we have, uh, from our last video, we discovered that we actually do like the short wigs. Uh, so, who knows, one of the girls might end up stealing this wig. Yeah, the trouble with the, the short wigs is that the hair wants to kind of get in underneath yeah. the, the cap. Uh, well, I don't think he appreciated that. Uh, I'm sure he didn't. He's got a little cowlick now. I'm going to totally leave it. No, it, it went away. Down. I tried to accentuate it. And it went away. Okay, that wig actually looks pretty cool. I don't know why, but in some of the pictures, it actually seemed like a like a big bowl on his head. But it's actually not bad. I like him much more seeing him in person. But I think I would definitely want to try and push the hair down some. He is pretty cute. Yeah, this wig isn't bad. I mean, he's he's an anime boy, you know. I mean, he's yeah, he's pretty typical. Yeah, I like him. I think he's cool. So of course. We only had girls up to this point, so now we had to get some some guy stuff. So there's some guy stuff and some other stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what we bought, but you're making really weird innuendo right now. <laughs> no, just that there's a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. We kind <laughs> of went a little nuts. Well, we tried to... We tried to look at things that were either like harder to get from Danny, you know, um, directly, but um, yeah, it's it. We when you can succeed. see this stuff in person, it's like it's really hard to resist putting it on the counter and paying for it. Oh God! I mean, if we ever go to Japan, which is our plan, um, I I don't know how like how many bags we're gonna end up having to to leave with <laughs> coming out of there being able to actually see the real store and everything um versus you know iris's store with you know she's got basically a wall a, you know a small wall um it's probably one of the bigger uh properties that she has yeah she's she very much is is invested in multiple ways in smart doll like right. she she really does like them a lot um so Do you want to open the rest of it? Yeah, let's open the rest of the stuff. <laughs> I was just looking at him. He's cool. Oh, I have it, don't I? Okay. Receipts? No, don't look at that, John. Let's talk about what we got got for our new friend, Gemini, here. Who? I don't know. We've been going through a list of names. And you know we like to name things if you've been watching the channel. But uh, it's uh, been a struggle trying to come up with his name. Well, we just didn't... We haven't spent any time with them so we we're just coming up with names that we liked and kind of how we might think about the name and who he might be yeah he hasn't told us his name yet because obviously we just took him out of the box so so of course he's got to have a pair a nice pair of uh 
I believe these are the Hiroshima genes. Yeah, the Hir- the Hiroshima genes for boys. Yeah, because there are there are there is a girls' version. Just gonna pretend he's dressed, and and we actually have other clothes that he can wear. Like I was thinking about the fact that we have the baggy knit cardigan from Culture Japan, which will fit him, and he can wear that. This is uh, I think the most of the rest of this is a uh, TTYA. So yes. this is nice, almost, um, it's not linen, but it uh, has sort of a linen-y look at this scale. That actually snaps up the back. How's that? The... Yeah, it's a black t-shirt. Ah, and it's for, a v-neck. For ease of putting it on, TTYA puts the snaps up the back. So you can actually unsnap it and snap it in the back, and it'll look like he's wearing a v-neck black t-shirt. Convenient, although I am a fan of real Realism clothes. Realism yeah. them, Yeah. We got a TTYA turtleneck, which we thought was kind of cool. We do have a bit of a a visual idea of what we want to do with with this doll, but uh, that's about it. He doesn't have a name yet. And this is not really even scratching the surface of what we want to do, like, dressing-wise, but um, this is at least starting to get in the direction. Yeah, it's a good basics to start with. The girls could wear this, too, actually. Yeah, nice and baggy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I added this. I don't think you really saw it when no. I did. Um, but this is a uh, TTYA's uh, cargo pants um, in like a, a really nice green. Yeah, they're they're like a they're almost like an emerald green. They're very or hunter green maybe. They're somewhere they're not, between there. Yeah. They're not like an olive drab like you would expect from a cargo. They're actually like a brighter green, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I thought uh, like those would work well together. Mm-hmm. Like Any of the these. The sweater would yeah. work <laughs> So that is it for Gemini's clothes. What we so he's got a couple got of basics. Actually, no, that's not it. I actually got those for the girls as well, but he can use them. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Since see we have them fit. There. Now, Luma has a nice chunky black uh, frames, but we got the, the Genesis. Something. Oh, he looks good in them. Oh, I like them, don't you? Yep. I guess Kanata had glasses. These are the Genesis glasses. Um, this is mostly because I didn't want to wait to to figure out like how these worked, but um, did get uh, the the eye cradle repositioning eyes uh, is something that I have to do a lot uh, to get the right shot. Um, you know, to get angles in photography, but then keep like the eyes still looking at the camera or the eyes looking in another direction, wherever it just really adds to the emotion. My suspicion is that this won't help um, all that much, but maybe. Um, I know I don't tend to use a lot of... Uh... You just got across the face, my friend. Sorry, it's Gemini. Um, I don't tend to use a, uh, a lot of the default uh, uh, CJIs, um, which, you know, these only support the CJIs, technically. Um, but I have to wonder if, you know, are there adjustments I can make to make other things work? Um, right. Uh, or are there other eyes? Um, I know at least one other store started to come out with eyes that their, their eyes do work um, with this. But if I can get this in there and out really quickly and be able to shift the the eyes and where the the pupils are uh or the irises are are, are facing um then uh, uh do that quickly um it might be helpful let me get some of this out of the way here you were excited about these yeah i thought they were really cute so do we I, know who these are made by i believe it's 99 style but i'm not sure i love the chunky lug sole look of the um culture japan boots and these were like a little bit more of a high heel version of those and they actually feel i mean i wouldn't say that they're the same quality but they're actually pretty darn high quality boots that they are 99 style they say that on the inside um they have a nice lug on the bottom and they have really good laces and i'm really looking forward to trying them on the girls and these were um like almost a third of the price of the Culture Japan shoes. So I won't stop buying Culture Japan shoes because they're awesome, but these are really good. We also got the pink bikini. Again, we could have ordered from uh, from Yeah, that was available on Culture Japan, but, you know, once you're there and you start, 
Like I said, putting stuff on the counter, this is what happens. Yeah, we have the yellow one uh, that I got for vignette. And, uh, you know, it's nice to be able to put the girls in different, uh, like, uh, swimwear as we get further into summer. For a little equal opportunity. Mm -hmm. It doesn't quite fit. Maybe a Speedo for him? <laughs> a pink Speedo? <laughs> Why not? That probably will fit. So, yeah, so we got the bikini. This is something that is a bit of a luxury item. It's a, a little more expensive, but we don't really have many coats. So we did pick up the Icelandic jacket, I believe this is called. And this is Culture Japan. Don't say it. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, the Icelandic jacket. And actually, I was noticing it yesterday when it was so rainy. And uh, Vignette had on a trench coat, but I didn't have anything for Harper to wear. Um, so... Now we've got another jacket that we can use. And I know you want to be doing outdoor photography and having some realistic looking clothes that they can wear outside is yep. pretty cool. This yeah, is, no, it's, it's quite nice. It's beautifully made. I mean, all these little tiny stitches. Is this? A little vent. Yeah, a little opening in the back vent there. It is just the back side of this fabric. I'm pretty sure not like lined but it looks like lining yeah is this actually where the stand goes through or something probably yeah it is that that thing that i was pointing out before is where the stand actually goes through that is something that is lacking in in like you know all the is anything you get on etsy and oh i thought you were going to say in human clothing because we always need a stand yeah, that yeah, goes well. in the back of our coat <laughs> sometimes i need Scott. to be propped up but i mean yeah, like the stitching, how this is made. It's got that nice crispy crunch that you expect from a, a you know, a rain shell. Yeah. And these, all these little buckles and the pockets on the sleeves. I mean, this is, it's very detailed. It's got the, um, the little buckle straps that tighten up the cuff. I mean, it's expensive, but you can see why it's expensive. It's, yeah. it's beautifully made. I wonder if this, that, but it might not go on him. I don't know. It might, I think the sleeves are, the shoulders are, might be a little small. Did you want to try it or no? It's going to look a little strange with his underwear. Oh, his hand slips right off. The one disappointing thing about getting guys is the lack of availability of the hands. He's got too much muscle for the sleeve. Yep. It actually won't even go all the way up his arm. Oh, maybe. Actually, yeah, it will. I just didn't have it angled right. Okay, so that's on. See if, we can, if it goes over the other side. We might not be able to close it, but if he can wear it open over his t-shirt or something, that gives him another layer to wear. Oh, it actually works on him. No, oh, that looks cute. That works. It's a little snug, but it's like, it's just he's wearing a fitted jacket. Uh, it's actually not as snug as you'd think. I mean, it's a little snug in the arms, like here, but for the most part, I would say that fits perfectly. It fits pretty well. Yeah, so if you have a Gemini oh. or, or anything and you want to, uh, and you're looking for some other layers for him, the, the Icelandic jacket actually does go on him. Now, I ended up adding these and then removing them and then adding them back. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, Sandy has made Yukata for Luma and for um, Cami. And with all of the stuff she's doing right now, I just didn't want to have to add more to her plate. And since there were two official Yukata, um, I thought, why not just complete the set and have um, you know two you made, but also have a total of four, one for each of the girls. Mm -hmm. And actually, I was looking forward to the opportunity to study them and compare them to the pattern because Danny gave us the pattern. Um, and so I wanted to compare what I actually did and how I interpreted the pattern to what the actual garment looks like. And I think, you know, to be able to make it more refined and better. Yeah, I mean, for instance, it's it's really interesting to see, like, the type of fabric, the difference yeah, that that makes. Yeah, check that out. Oh, yeah, this is actually like a crepe. Yep. This is like a poly crepe, and it has, so it's, there's actually like a nubby texture to this. And then this is a cotton. This, this is just a regular cotton. 
Yeah, it's, it has like these sort of weird schlubby things. Yeah, I I actually think I'm I'm got it pretty much correct. Here's yeah. the other one. This was my favorite. Um, and again, that sort of crepe material. So they really did use something that was thinner mm -hmm. and um, uh, more draping, so that it won't it doesn't bulk up as much at the waist when you do the wrapping of it. Yeah, yeah, that's a very a uh, good point, a very cool idea. And they're beautiful. I mean, so the other one had the little schlubby things. This one has, like, slightly raised flowers on it. Yeah, and on technically like a, the same schlubby things on the edge there. It's just harder to see. They're, like, appliqued down, I think. Oh, no. No, they're just part of the fabric, I think. Yeah. But they're, they're very, very cool. It's beautiful. So those will be nice to see. And I'm actually, I've got some fabric that will make a great yukata for um, Gemini. Or whoever he is. Whatever his name is. I want to call him something and I, I haven't gotten to it yet. But uh, yeah, I can make a, a, you know, make a little bit longer one for him. I like the yukatas for um, when I'm sewing because I can have uh, them wear their underwear. And then if I feel weird about them sitting around naked or in their underwear, I throw the yukata on. <laughs> It's their dressing robe. Doesn't bother me most of the time, but sometimes I'm like, you know what? You need an extra layer. I'm gonna try some clothes on him. Okay, so here he is, the latest addition to the My Lady Disdain family. <laughs> I was actually thinking about this earlier of like, what is what is the crew called? Um, I don't and, know. and I don't know yet. The disdainful crew. Yeah. Sorry. Um. So we got him dressed up. He's got his TTYA pants and sweater on. The Culture Japan Icelandic jacket actually fits over the sweater. It was a little bit of a struggle, but it is on. Um, and he's wearing some, I don't know what brand these are that John picked up, but he is wearing this, the white Converse style high tops that we put on the girls. They actually go onto his feet pretty decently. Yeah, these are just SD13 size uh, shoes. So we actually had shoes for him already, which is cool. And things that we didn't expect to fit actually fit him which is great, and we're really excited, I think, to have him, you know, as soon as I saw him dressed, I wasn't sure about him, but as soon as I saw him dressed, I was like, oh, I actually like him, this is going to be fun. So, uh, I'd say Danny knocked it out of the park again. I can't wait to see the revised boys. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of interesting reveals over, I don't know, I'm sure it's not this year, but maybe next year. We'll see when he finally gets them out, but yeah, I'm happy with him. I, I want him to have a name, so I think we need to go and spend some time with him this weekend and try and figure out who he is, and we will let you know as soon as we've decided. Yeah, I think we're going to maybe try on some wigs, change out the eyes, just play around a little bit and see yeah. if anything sort of sticks. Yeah, and he's going to have a character like the other girls do. Um, we kind of see him interacting with Harper and Vignette quite a bit. Yep. Um, I mean, and as for, you know, male models, that's what they do. They prop up the beautiful girls. Just because we have chiseled abs and stunning features, it doesn't mean that we too can't not die in a freak gasoline fight accident. I'm surprised she didn't just say men. <laughs> okay, so that's it for us. Um, uh, Gemini, John, and I will... Be seeing you again soon. Um, yeah, if you want to uh, check out uh, some of the pictures that I took this weekend uh, with Vignette and Harper uh, and my other uh, Smart Doll photography, you can uh, follow me on Instagram at Smart Doll Folio. And you can follow me at My Lady Disdain with underscores. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.